what is emotional intelligence? Well, really, if you go by the textbook, there's four things. One is you have to be aware of your emotions. Mm -hmm. And then you have to, you know, deploy them <laughs> in your interactions, actually <laughs> right. understand their, their meaning their, and, and then you start to put them out there. And then in the backside, you, you monitor. So it's awareness, it's management, it's deployment, and it's kind of basically review, you know, how, how did that go? Yeah. Uh, could, I, could I have tried that a different route? You know, some sort of reflection. Yeah. How, how would a person know if, if they are emotionally intelligent? Like, what are some of the signs that they, that they have that? Well, I, I think the first thing is we can make everyone feel better. I don't think you ever get to being fully and always, you know, on top of your game and emotionally mm -hmm. intelligent. I think you have better days and worse days, good <laughs> situations and bad situations. Right. I mean, I'm a tennis player and some days my backhand works and some days it doesn't. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, that's just how it goes. And even right. within a match, it can change, of course. Uh, that's why you have those ebbs and flows. So I think the fundamental thing is, first of all, emotional literacy. Uh, I have spoken at many conferences, as you might imagine, over the yep. years. And every now and then I've played a little game, not in a mean sort of way, but I've begun by showing here are the seven emotions you can capture through facial coding. Right. And can you tell me, you know, audience, <laughs> what is, I, I've got one word that describes the essence of what that emotion is and just do a little mix and match. I, I won't even play games by having eight options for seven answers. Right, right. Seven to seven you know, just put them together. And the usual turnout was about 35% emotional literacy, 35%. Wow. And this was among typically researchers who spend their lives doing analysis. And many of them would be yeah. focus group moderators, for instance, right. who are really trying to read the room. It's called qualitative research. Right. And you're trying for quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. And yet they were at 35%, one third. I mean, I, I admit I was, I was stunned the first time I did this. It's why I did it at least two more times because, like, that can't really be the number. I mean, it must be 50%. It must be 60%. Right. Know? And and yet, on the other hand, I have to say that before I got into this field, if I got gotten the same quiz, I, I might have had the same answer. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I'd really thought through, you know, what is anger? I mean, what causes anger, let alone how does anger manifest itself on the face? I, I think I was just swimming blind to that to – a very large extent, and we all are, despite yeah. movies like, you know, Anger Management and so forth. Right, right. 